Group Aero Simon. I'm going to talk about the three companies that I have that we have chosen, which are Padini Holdings, Bonia Corporation, and Prolexus Berhad. So the first company that I'm going to talk about is Padini. Padini have grown to become one of the countries prominent in their own brands, which are Padini, Seed, Padini Authentics, and PDI. Padini involved in the distribution and retails of its own passion. Uh, labels through 193 standing stores, franchise and consignment store. Secondly, I'm going to talk about Bonia Corporation. So Bonia Corporation's uh, core business is retailing in which uh, in which is the main contributor to revenue and profit for their group with their main market in Malaysia, Vietnam, Singapore, Indonesia and China. Lastly, the core business of Prolexus Berhad is uh, apparel manufacturing. With more than 40 years of industry leadership, today, Prolexus Berhad have more than 3,000 employees across three facilities in Malaysia and China. Each year, they produce more than 15 million pieces of apparel for global brands. The group's capacity has expanded with its latest fabric mill in Klang, Malaysia to be one one-stop integrated supplier of apparel material, retail and outdoor advertising are uh, other business units. Secondly, I'm going to talk about the uh, the owner of their company. So the first the first company which is uh, Padini Holdings is the founder of Mr. Yong Pan. Mr. Yong Pan is the founder and managing director of Padini Holdings. Padini is an investment holding company based in Malaysia. Secondly, Bonia Corporation began in 1977 which founded by Mr. Chang. The founder of uh, Bonia currently acts as executive chairman come CEO of the Bonia Group Thirdly, Prolexus Berhad, headquartered in Malaysia, is a listed company in Malaysia Stock Exchange. Prolexus' largest shareholder is its MD, Mr. Lau Mong Ying, who has a 6.83% direct stake in the uh, company. Lastly, in terms of uh, sales, marketing and advertising, and profitability, I will rank Padini Holdings as, as first, followed by Bonia, and Prolexus Berhad. This is because uh, based on their financial report, based on their annual reports in terms of sale, uh, uh, Padini Group Chief Consolidated Revenues of RM1.78 billion, uh, gross command of 6.2% over the previous year revenue. And as for marketing and advertising, they did a great job because of their mega carnival sales which held on uh, December uh, which is on August and December each year. There are four input factors to produce an output. The first one is land, entrepreneur, labor, and capital. A variable input is a resource or quantity that can be changed quickly in a short run production by a firm. And fixed input is the quantity that cannot be changed in a relatively short amount of time, such as capital that provides the capacity of the production. So, for the company Prolexus, the company variable input is labor while their fixed input is material. As we know, textile production are heavily depending on labor where any disruption will greatly affect their processes and overall cost of production. This shows that the labor is a variable input as this quantity use can be easily changed in a relatively short amount of time. Meaning that they can easily change the number of labor to ensure they operated at an optimum level. So for Prolexus, one of the fixed input is materials as the company manufacture their own products. The materials that are used are their fixed inputs, fixed products. This shows that if there is a rising cost of raw material, the quantity used cannot be changed in a relatively short amount of time as it is going to affect the whole production process. Other than that, the textile mill also is a fixed input for a Prolexus company. The completion of the textile mill takes a long time of planning, strategies and decisions. It cannot be changed in a short period of time. So the benefit will prolong such as the internal procurement of knitted fabrics will gradually improve Prolexus profit margins and control over the supply chain. This shows that a thorough plan has been made about the opening of the new textile mill due to the fact that they have predicted a loss at the beginning of the year. However, 
They predicted over the years it will be fully utilized and improve the company's profit margin. So as for Bonia and Padini, they use retail labor and inventories as their in variable inputs. Meanwhile, their fixed inputs are property, plan and equipment, intangible assets and investment property. So as we know in the retailing industries, the uttermost labor intensive are the textile and apparel retail. So for them to survive in their business and to be remain competitive, domestic retailers emphasize on the labor efficient. Thus, there are two roles of manager in this production process. The first one is to ensure the firm operates on production function. Second one is to ensure the firm uses the correct level of inputs. So, they must have the correct number of labor to ensure the production runs smoothly. This shows that the quantity of labor can easily be changed in a relatively short amount of time as it is the variable input and the company must decide how many labor needed in order to for the company to operate at optimal level. So for Padini and Bonia, one of the fixed input is property plan and equipment PPE. As this is their fixed input for Padini, the plan is to do expansion and upgrade for their Padini concept source, brand outlet and freestanding stores. And for Bonia, for their PPE expansion plan, the company did a uh, renovation of boutiques to reflect their brand's image, to have rental commitments, and this surely will incur higher inventory holding costs. This is to ensure they have the sustainability and to and the operation will run smoothly and to meet the increased competitive pressure in the retail industry. Thus, this shows that the fixed input for both companies need uh, thorough plan to execute and the quantity used that cannot be changed in a relatively short amount of time. Moving forward, what kind of business strategy had implemented by this company? First, Padini Holding. As we know that, Padini is a fashion retailer which owns several household brands such as Padini, Vinci, PDI, Seed and Mickey. To create such a well-known brand, Padini had implemented market development strategy, expansion. Market, Padini had market its merchandise over 200 locations across 10 countries. As shown in annual report 2018, for domestic sector, Padini had 143 retail stores, divided into 41 single brand stores, 48 Padini concept stores, and 54 brands outlet stores. For overseas market, the number of stores in Indonesia had increased from 13 to 15 stores, while the sales in Indonesia also increased by 16% in financial year 2018. Besides, Padini also expanded into Cambodia market by opening three own managers managed stores in Cambodia. Next, Bonia Cooperation. Bonia had collaborated and had a part have a long-term partner relationship with various well-known department stores such as Parson, Aeon and iCertain department store. This will increase their brand visibility and the probability for the customer to reach their product. The main target customer for Bonia is middle income group. Most of the price of Bonia product are affordable for middle level middle income level by placing their product in the department store which located in most of the shopping mall will increase their brand visibility and also increase their sales volume partnership with international brand also the main strategy of polaris braha the apparel manufacturing is the main revenue driver for polaris braha the division manufacturer sportwear apparel for international famous brand. For example, Nike, Converse, and Under Armour. Polaris have a have a cross collaboration with this brand. Beside apparel manufacture, beside apparel manufacturing business, Polaris also involved in advertising sector on digital outdoor screen. It showed that Polaris is implementing 
implementing the strategy called the unrelated diversification strategy. The group on the brand power screen and it is the first LED screen owner and the operator in Malaysia. The advertising segment contribute 4.2% of the total group revenue and 47.8% of total group profit after tax in financial year 2018. The company products are different in terms of its main focus, such as Padini Holding is one of the company focusing on the products such as clothing and accessory exclusively for children and adults. Body Holding need use to differentiate strategies of product and image to place the product occupied in the consumer mind. Padini Holding use the differentiation of image and product like unique design and brand image to position the product in the consumer minds. Padini Holding also have two types of shop. This is one way in the Padini Holding services and it different their competitor when it has brand outlet and Padini concept store. Okay, the next product is Bonia. Bonia procuring on leather product and their market is middle income group who focus on trendy product and prefer prestige image product which is male and female working adults. Bonia focus on leather product that's suitable for this range or the product offer are suitable for this range age. The next we are choose Pro Lexus Berhad is different with Badini Holding and Bonia because Pro Lexus Berhad is engaged in investment holding and the provision of management services. The company is focusing on apparel which include the manufacturing of apparel and provision of apparel manufacturing services advertising which is engaged in the provision of advertising services on multimedia board and others which is include investment holding, property investment, provision of management services and provision of agency services. Okay, the conclusion is the company product differ from their competitor from the aspect of quality, vertical integration and technology. For example, these three companies such as Badini Holding, Bonia and Prolexus Berhad are very strict with the quality of their product. They provide in-house quality check together with the quality report from external parties. Next, ability to control the supply chain matrix. Three company able to manage order and delivery on time. Lastly, with the use of latest machinery technology, it will enable these three company able to product the with efficient and with rapid minimal loss. What can we describe Padini Holdings? Bonia Corporation and Polaris Bahab is either perfect competition, oligopolis, monopolis, or the monopolistic competitor. After of all the analysis, we found out that these three brands should be clarified under perfect competition industry. As stated by Michael R. Bayer and Jeffrey T. Price, competitor, perfect competitor is considered as a market which consists of many firms which do not have market power. The firm has access to the same technology and produce the similar product. So, no firm have any real advantage over other firms. Additionally, in perfect competitor market, the buyers and the seller have perfect information on the product. For example, Bonia and Padini have their, have their own official website which can let the customer to buy the product. The buyer also can have the information from their official website. Padini, Bonia and Polaris are in the same industry, which is apparel and textile industry. Although, Bo although Padini and Bonia focus 
focus on retailing, but the progress is mainly focused on manufacturing. In Malaysia, there are a lot of firms and competitors in apparel and textile many in textile industry. Thus, these firms are the price taker. Each firm must take the price set by the market. Any increase of the price will turn the will turn the customer to their competitor easily. In conclusion, we clearly state that Padini, Bonia and Polaris are under perfect competition market structure. Now I'm sharing with you how Padini doing well in their business. Padini is a local leading brand that distributes garments, shoes, bags, belts and other accessories for different age and gender customer. Padini also have different brand names such as Vinci, Seed, Mickey House, P&Co, PDI and etc. We can know that Padini separate each type of product with different brand name for different age of customer. That's why customer will easily recognize what type of product with what type of brand name. And then their great achievement in foreign country with 60 franchise store and dealer store. We can know that they have strong ability and opportunity to expand their business in forest market. Now I'm sharing with you how well Bonier Corporation doing well in their business. Bonier Corporation is a worldwide well-known brand that provides high quality leather and fashion product. Most of the customers have significant brand loyalty to their product because of the unique design and the quality of their product provided to the customer. The product they provide to the customer, for example, the most common one is the bag and also shoe. Most of it is the leather product. They are doing well in their brand visibility. How? Why I'm talking about this? Because they have displayed their product at the department store, such as Aeon, Istian and Parson. As we know, Aeon, Istian and Parson, even the small, small town also have their outlet. So we can know that they can promote their product well. Now I'm talking about how well Prolexus doing their business. Prolexus not only focus on apparel manufacturing business, as usual, they will manufacture for the sportwear and the sport product. But now they also involve in the digital advertising service which means that they have diversified their service provided to the customer. From a appearance manufacturing company, they want to change to the digital advertisement service. I think it's difficult in the market. And this has shown in their report of financial statement in 2018. We can know that Prolexus have success to diversify their service from apparel manufacturing to digital advertising service. We can know that 4.2% out of 47.8% of the group revenue in 2018 is generated from digital advertising service. So we can know that these changes of service provided to the customer also bring a significant revenue to the company. Now we are talking about how Padini and Bonia not doing well in their business. They are not doing well in their e-commerce marketing. Padini have their own official website as well as Bonia, but they still need to put more effort in advertising in their online tools. They can collaborate with well-known e-commerce platforms such as Lazada, Shopee and putting their product in their platform to improve their brand visibility. However, not just putting there and waiting, they need to more advertising to let their customer notice. Now they have another way to purchase their product. This is also one of the way to increase their revenue. Next, I will going to discuss with you how Prolexus not doing well in their business. 
Prolexus currently is facing the problem is dependency on major customer. The major customer of Prolexus comprise mainly from international sportwear brands such as Nike, Converse, Under Armour and others. Although the group have cl clarified they have a good business relationship with them and have no encounter any major problem in their past dealing with them. However, no one can guarantee anything in our future. In the annual report 2018, we can know that the group have registered a total revenue of 3,002.7 million for financial year ended 31st July 2018, which represent a 13.1 decrease over the previous year. One of the factors that caused the decline in revenue is due to reduced orders from major customer in the apparel division. So I think they show do a good cooperation with other sport company also. Okay, now I want to explain question number seven. If you were the CEO of this company, what would you do in order to further enhance the performance of this company? Okay, we have got five ways to improve our company performance. First, is improving employees' teamwork. Employee plays important part in an organization when the employee feels safe, good teamwork among them, and employees enjoy their workplace their value to your company is increased. When the employees perform better, the company will also automatically perform better. Second, improve the documentation. Documentation is very important, especially when it comes to an audit. A company should have record for all transactions in their company. This is very important, especially when the company deal with the customer complaint. When a company has a good documentation, it will increase company performance. Third, use the technology. <coughs> a company should utilize the technology to improve all aspects in the company. The use of technology depends on the budget and the need on the company itself. For the example, a company like Padini Holding, Bonia and Prolexus Berhad need an IT expert to improve the marketing of a company. For the marketing aspect, nowadays most people love to buy online. So the company should use the online marketing to market their product. Besides that, the company should focus on how to provide more value to the customer. For example, Padini Holding, Bonia and Prolet Silverheart should value loyal customers by giving them some discount to provide them with some gift. For the example, birthday gift, uh, so customer will be loyal to buy the product from the company. Last, since Padini Holding, Bonia and Prolet Silverheart is already well known in fashion industry, I believe they are able to do a fashion show by doing hiring professional model, wearing their new product and having a fashion show the company invite some fashion show professional helping to advertise and promote their company to others customer. Besides, the company can organize a model sh to show or competition very their pro new product specific to specific more like Pavilion, Mid Valley, uh, Gurney Mall and others this will cost lesser. Furthermore, Padani Hodin, Bonya and Prolexus Berhad can sponsor to some well-known magazine with conditions that include few page which is uh, advertise their new product in every publication in the magazine. Uh, that's all. Okay, so thank you.